Hello guys, welcome to another video of Tiggy Phoenix. So today I will be changing the thermal paste of this Dell Inspiron 15 laptop. It was getting too hot and shutting down suddenly in between of doing a work. So I thought that it would be the problem of thermal paste, the old thermal paste being old. So this laptop has a Core i7 7500U and a Radon graphics from AMD. So let's go ahead and open it. Let's change its thermal paste. So here are some screws. First we have to take it out. So now let's take the battery out. And now all the screws at the rear is out. Now beneath the keyboard you will find some more screws. We have to take So here as you can see this keyboard is held in place by some type of clip. It just clips in, no screws holding that keyboard. We have to just put a flat added screwdriver in there and just give a little bit of pressure to take it down. As you can see here, it's coming out. But yes, here is the cable. We have to unclip that also. So now let's unscrew this four screws. This is star headed screws and they are tiny. So now let's take this CD drive out. So from that space we can take it apart. Yes, it is coming out. So if you have a ATM card or a plastic card or something it will be much much easier. Here I am using my fingers to get into the insides and unclip the 
channel. From this side it was not coming out. Then I checked once more what's wrong with it. So I found that two more screws are to be unscrewed. Then I unscrewed it. So guys make sure that you unscrew every screws so as you can see we reached to the inside you can see the motherboard now so as you can see here this is the fan and this one is the copper heatsink which transfers the heat from both the processors to the cooling pins through fans they blow the heat from there so when you are unscrewing this small heatsink panels go for the opposite ends first when you are unscrewing the screws it makes sure that you are applying equal pressure and unscrewing it. So let's take it out. So as you can see here, the thermal paste, the old thermal paste is completely dried out. Thus the heat was increasing and the sudden shutdowns. So this was actually very very hot and it could actually fry your omelet. So let's change the thermal paste. So to, for changing the thermal paste you need a tissue paper and I was not actually having a 100% pure alcohol to clean it so I used this aftershave it also contains about 95% of alcohol and it can also work very well. At the moment I was not actually having any alcohol based cleaner so I used this so when you are taking out the whole thermal paste be careful not to damage any transistor or capacitors on the side of the the die as you can see in this graphics processor there are some small small tiny capacitors or some transistors something like that and you should be very careful not to damage it if you by mistake damage your damage that the PC won't turn on be careful so for removing the thermal paste on the side of the die I am using a flat headed screwdriver and let's wipe it one more time and clean it well because any residue can badly affect the thermal transfer so this is the new thermal paste which I bought from Amazon for about 300 dollar 300 rupees actually sorry and let's apply it be careful when you are applying it a tiny little bit of the thumb paste you need for this two dice here actually half of a drop Let's put some thermal paste 
hero. Oh god. It has spread to the outer part of the die. So let's clean that. Don't apply this much of thumb base. Actually, I by mistake applied a little bit more. So you actually need a tiny bit. So let's also clean the thumb paste remaining on this heat sink. It is much more harder. So scrub it harder, remove it. So don't think that I am very fast at cleaning this. I have actually increased the speed of this particular video clip by about 2x. It took a lot of time, about 10 to 15 minutes alone for cleaning this heat pipe because the thermal paste on it was very hardened and literally like unremovable. So it's done. So let's place the thermal heat pipe back on the motherboard. So as I took it out, we have to screw it down like the same way I took it out Le like screwing it from both the opposite ends first because you need to spread the thermal paste equally onto the processor so screw the opposite ends first and gradually screw all the screws So finally it is done. So let's keep back all the things that we took from it. So let's first add the CD drive. Because it has a cable and after putting the case the back panel if we insert it it will not be connected the cable will just go back so now let's put this back panel give a slight press there will be a click sound So now let's put all the screws back in.
so let's put this keyboard cable back in the keyboard also just clips in you have to just press it gently So let's put in the remaining screws. So now let's put on the battery back in and it should be ready to go. Also this last nail on the coffin. Finally guys it is ready to get started. So let's check moment of truth yes guys thank you for watching guys this is Techie Phoenix signing off if you like this video then give a thumbs up and stay tuned for my new videos stay subscribed bye bye